Good morning, Two Gen Beauties, and welcome back to the Two Gen Beauty and Lifestyle channel. Um, today, I'm going to be doing kind of like two videos in one. I'm going to be doing um, a review on the products I received in my April Petit Vore box, and then I'm also going to be unboxing my May Petit Vore box, which I received a couple of days ago. Um, I feel like it's kind of hard to review the products as if I haven't used them, so I figured 30 days is about a good amount of time to let you know how I felt about them and what I liked and what I didn't like and just kind of give you a preview of what I'll review next month. Um, and I'm sorry, it looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. I'm wearing a maxi dress. Today I am very low-key. Um, we're going to be just kind of barbecuing and hanging out by the pool and going in the water because it's Memorial Day weekend and um, don't want to go to the beach in Miami or Hollywood because there's like a million people. So we're just going to kind of hang as a family and uh, enjoy the day. So I'm going to jump right in to my April products and the theme for the April Petit Vor box was Spring Forward building the perfect cruelty-free arsenal and what I'm going to do is I'll just go over each of the products on the back one by one and kind of give you an idea of how I felt about each one and then we'll jump into unboxing the May box which I have right here okay so let's see the first product on here is the Lauren B nail polish which retails for $18 and this was in the color hashtag I'm so LA and this is the color. To me, this is the perfect color for summer. I love this color. My daughter uh, just had her eighth grade prom and she used this color because this was the same exact color of her dress. Um, and so what I did was I kind of, I've done this color already since it's been 30 days. I did it right away, but I went ahead and I removed one color so you could kind of get an idea of the actual color itself. It kind of reminds me of the color of the Petit Vore box, a little bit darker, um, but it's just perfect because it gives you that pop of color. It's, you know, bright and it's just a, a really, really nice color. So Lauren B is a five free um, brand. It's cruelty free. It's vegan friendly. It's made in the USA. I would highly recommend it. I've started following them on social media and they have beautiful colors so I definitely want to pick up a few when I'm not on a no buy so but love 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 this color and that retails for $18 the next item on here is the Konjac sponge and this is the Konjac sponge so this retails for $12 and so I use mine every day, morning and night. And so when you get it, it's like literally like hard, hard, hard as a rock. And this is, you can see I've been using it. So whenever I use it, I rehydrate it and it gets spongy. It reminds me of like a muffin top, right? Like a little muffin top. I love this. I love it, love it, love it. I think this one is for like anti-aging or something like that and it has uh, I can't remember what the, the exact stuff was. It was on like the actual packaging. But I use it with my cleanser. I use it without my cleanser. When I use it, I feel like my face is just like so refreshed. And just, I've gotten compliments on my skin. Like I was at the book fair at school the other day. And one of the moms was like, wow, you know, your skin is looking so nice. And I was like, huh maybe it's the Conject sponge so definitely definitely recommend this it's only $12 um, and I am very glad that I received it I had never tried a Conject sponge before so I am now a fan the next thing on here is the Suntegrity 5-in-1 natural moisturizing face sunscreen and it's a BB cream and it's this is a quarter of an ounce but the full size is 1.7 ounces and retails for $45. Um, so I'd say this is probably about, I don't know, eight or nine bucks worth. Um, I'm actually wearing it today. It does have a tint to it, so if you guys can see. So there is kind of like a, a, a 
a shade to it but by no means does it give you like full coverage or anything like that and I did put it on today since I'm gonna be hanging by the pool I figured this would be a great way to kind of test that out and it's broad spectrum broad spectrum um, with SPF 30 and the five things that it does are treat hydrate protect prime and cover um, for all skin types vegan non greasy and non toxic and I am really liking this product and I, this is something that I will probably purchase in full size um, once I'm done with the sample and when I'm not on a no buy um, and I think this is a great product for the summer I mean I live in South Florida and it gets hot like really hot like it's only the end of May and right now we like hit 100 degrees every day and it feels like 100 degrees every day so definitely definitely like this product the last product for April was the box naturals Lux towelettes and we received two um, a box of 12 is nine dollars so they're not super expensive um, we received two we received the rose water and we received the lavender so this is the lavender um, I already used the rose water went on a field trip to Disney with my daughter's cheerleading squad and it's like literally an all-day event we get up at like three we have to be at the bus by four we get home at like one or two o'clock in the morning the next day so um, it just helped to kind of like at the end of the day once I was on the bus coming home I just kind of like wiped all the Disney gunk off my face from the heat and from the dust and just from everything um, so it did make me feel a lot better I love products with rose water in them um, I have not used the lavender obviously because I still have it here and I mean I'm not like a huge fan of towelettes I don't use them on a regular basis I don't use them as a makeup remover I don't use them just on an everyday basis in general I do use them for like special things like the Disney field trip if I'm going somewhere and I'm not gonna have access to like I don't want to say this but like take a shower or you know wash my face or do things like that so I think in those circumstances I think they're great I really really liked it um, I probably wouldn't repurchase them not because I didn't like it but honestly just because I don't usually use a product like this so I did like it just not the type of product for me that I would use on a regular basis that is everything in the April box and I mean I would say three out of four I would probably repurchase no problem so I thought that that was a great box for me so we're gonna jump right in to the May box and I have the May box right here and the theme is pretty powerful and let me show you what the box looks like you can see some of the products in here um, pretty powerful let's see two years ago this week we launched Petit Vore. Oh, so this is like their birthday box um, shh, shh, just ignore him they're outside and he was in the pool and he got all wet and he's not coming in with a mission to help women effortlessly and delightfully discover the creme de la cruelty free with your sampling ratings and feedback we've been able to grow authentically and refine our pickings so that you can have the most positive experience discovering the fabulous world of cruelty free cheers to genuine kindness progress and ethical upgrades we hope you enjoy xo team pb so this is their birthday box and i remember reading about or their anniversary box and it says pretty powerful more than skin deep i love their little themes every month i think it's so cute so I'm going to jump right in and this one I'm actually uh, wearing so that uh, I could have given you guys a good idea of the product and it's the Lippy Girl Vigo Centric Organic Lipstick and this is in the shade Snog Me and I think I was expecting something a little bit brighter with a more pop of color but it's very very neutral as you can see and let me see if I can swatch it and you guys get an idea of the color. It's very, very light, um, almost uh, like a sheer color. Um, 
It look, actually looks brighter when I look at it, but it's still a very, very short color. I would say it's kind of like a peachy rose, if I could describe it. And I like the packaging. The packaging is really cute. I don't know if you could see the, the girl on the container. She's putting on her lipstick. Very cute. And the box is also very cute. Sorry. And this retails for $23. So non-bleeding, so color stays put inside the lines, 100% recyclable, so um, both of these things are recyclable. So I will definitely be trying this out. It's the summer, so I think this is a great color um, to just kind of like if you're going to go to the beach or like I'm going to do today and hang by the pool so that I'm not like completely faceless, but you know, you just have a little something something going on. Um, the next thing in here is the moon number 11 Anna Rose Rejuvenating Rose Toner and I have not opened this you can see it it's kind of like a little cardboard container Let's see if you could hear it there's liquid in there and it's basically like a toner you know just use a cotton pad and a, a cotton pad and a giant uh, ugh, apply it to the face and let's see this is about a two dollar sample but it retails for $68. So um, I don't know, it's kind of pricey for a toner for me when I know that there's pretty good you know, rose toners out there. I will definitely give it a shot and it's not to say that I wouldn't like it, I just think for that price, I probably wouldn't um, spend that kind of money on a toner. Um, the next thing in here is the NYL Organic Shimmer Scrub. and let's see if i can open it for you guys so the only thing i've opened is the um lipstick i haven't Ooh, that smells good very citrusy and you can see it's just kind of like a scrub and you can see a little bit of shimmer in it let me see if i can i don't think you'll even get that on yeah I don't think you'll even get that on it's a very light light shimmer so um, excited to try this and let me see why it smells so good and I like a lot of the ingredients unrefined cane sugar organic unrefined cane sugar organic rose hip seed oil which I love organic rose hip seed oil organic meadow foam seed oil organic grape seed oil organic vitamin E organic essential oils and mica which is titanium dioxide and iron oxide so this is cool and let's see this is a two ounce sample or maybe this is actually the full size two ounces and it retails for eleven dollars so I could see spending that type of money on this type of product um, uh, shimmering, giving skin a luminous dewy glow, fabulous non-toxic alternative to shaving cream. Huh. Shaving cream. I would just imagine like you put this on and then the granules would like get stuck in the razor. So I don't know how that would work, but I think this is great to like exfoliate like, you know, your elbows and your feet and you just want to like relax. And I feel like it would be really refreshing because of the citrus scent. So we'll see how that goes. And the last thing in here is the Zabana, and I hope I'm saying that correctly, Essentials, Essentials, New Dry Glow Shampoo, and this is a $9 product. So this is, I love dry shampoo. I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it probably like twice a week, maybe three times a week, depending on what happened that week. Um, today's a, a wash day, so I'll wash it. And um, I probably won't wash it again until like, what's today, Sunday? So like Tuesday or Wednesday. So this is great for like in between, 100% natural and organic. Um, it's two ounces. I don't know about the shimmer. I feel like shimmer, alrighty then. That just kind of, let me see if I can get some on my hand for you guys 
So obviously it's like a little powder. You can see it there. I don't know if you can actually see. So I don't see a whole lot of shimmer. So that's not bad. So I will definitely um, give this a shot. I usually use like the spray ones. So um, I've never used a powder one. I think I received one once in like a birch box a long time ago and I never used it because I was like powder. But I will definitely give this one a shot. Uh, absorbs excess oils, volumizing, refreshing the hair and scalp without water. So pretty typical for um, a dry shampoo. And so usually most dry shampoos, which is really, really bad, are made with like uh, talcum powder, which is horrible. And so this one is actually made with kaolin clay and oatmeal, which is very cool. It has arrowroot in it, uh, essential oils. So I will definitely be giving this a shot and letting you guys know what I think about it. And that is everything for my May Petit Bore box. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If um, you know you received something and you really, really liked it, please go ahead and comment below. I will put a link to um, Petit Bore as well. So anybody that's not a subscriber that wants to get the box, it's only $15 a month and I feel like it's totally worth it because you get to experience all these great brands that you probably wouldn't even know existed or would go out of your way to like purchase if you hadn't tried it. So I am definitely uh, a big, big proponent of Petit Bor. And um, I hope you have a great weekend. It's beautiful here in South Florida and I hope it's beautiful where you are. So ta-ta for now and I'll see you on my next video. Oh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, share it if you can. I'm trying to build up my subscribers so that I can share my uh, experiences with everything with more of you out there. Thanks. Have a great one. Bye-bye.